uh, I, uh, I'm in my photos app and I accidentally clicked somewhere and I, I discovered all these photo albums of just my face. And I can't tell you how violated I feel and they've weaponized my own face. And I, I just can't stand it. I can't stand looking at myself while knowing that strangers have also looked at my photos. They have weaponized my face and probably the very um, same thing that I feel in being so violated by a group of criminals that are also trying to indirectly kill me. Um, I can't describe to you what that feels like. Um, you know, I don't have a support system as it is. And I wouldn't say that um, I, don't, I don't suffer from low self-esteem or anything. And I don't know what ever gave the impression to the Texan's cunt sister-in-law that I need to be told I'm enough. I don't need to be told that because all my life, I was the only thing I've ever had. So I don't need to be told I'm enough. I don't struggle with being me. I don't struggle with my identity um, because when you are the only thing that you have in the world, that's, you better be okay with who you are. So, but now just by accidentally clicking on my uh, photos app, I'm all these fucking like fucking memory shit put together and uh, I'm just deleting every single picture of me. I don't care if I never see myself. And it's a shame because I don't ever have my pictures taken. And in fact, I have no pictures of me whatsoever from like before selfie era. Not one as a kid, um, except for a photocopy from Korean documents, from uh, one Korean document that has a black and white photocopy of me um, in Korea, but it's so grainy because it's a photocopy. And so you can't really see it. But here I am deleting every single fucking selfie because I just can't stand looking at myself anymore. I can't stand looking at these fucking pictures, knowing that people who are so fucking disgusting and who are trying their best to kill me, indirectly kill me, um, I can't describe to you what that feels like, but it's like, I'm kind of hyperventilating right now because it literally feels like I got gang banged. That's how it feels. It feels like I got gang banged digitally. And that's not the first time I felt that way. The first, I'll, I'll never forget feeling like I was being raped by a pornographic picture posted on my Twitter of uh, some movie clip of a guy jerking off and it was positioned so that you're looking up. So you really, it really just, you know, to land on that unexpectedly was quite a shock to me. It was, uh, I, it, it took me a while to recover and it wasn't, it was only when I uh, shared it with uh, the internet on my Twitter that I felt better, that I felt better about, um, uh, about, better about that. Look how long this shit is. So there's the scroll. All these photos, these photos are actually not in my library. I've deleted so many photos and then the con artist before this is the first time I'm actually before the cyber crimes. I never even used photos app on my iMac because there was never any need to. I would just store my photos on my on my phone and that's it. And that's because I don't really take photos. I'm not a photo whore. Um, I don't really like having my photo taken, but I do take selfies because if I don't take you know, I don't, I'm not a very social person and there's a reason for that. It's because of damage. And this is going to also be a lot of damage. And every single photo that I ever took, I'm now deleting of myself. And those are the only documentations that I have because I don't have family that takes photos of me. And I, I, I don't have, I don't like anyone taking my photo, not because I have low self-esteem or anything, but it's rather personal and I just don't like the way that I look in photos. It doesn't mean that I have low self-esteem. It's just that um, I'm just not accustomed to having my photo taken and I don't like to pose. I'm not a poser by any means. So um, I can't, you know, just to go accidentally click on my photos 